Message actions are different from data actions. Message actions are those actions that have a trigger and an action that's configured on the back end that, that organizes behaviors and interactions between widgets and data sources or data sets. Whereas data actions are simple actions that your users take at runtime. So if I come over here to this list on the left and I see this icon up here and hover over it, this is the actions icon. When I click on this actions icon, I see a set of actions. These are data actions that have been enabled on the back end for my users to utilize on the front end at runtime. So they could set a filter, they could run some summary statistics, they can export to different types of files. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on statistics. And what the user will get is an option to choose a field to run some summary statistics on. And so this is daily acres of fires burned within this data source. And what it's giving me is simple summary statistics really quickly uh, at runtime. So it does give your users the option to choose the field and then just give summary statistics. There is nothing more to it than that. So you are enabling your users to be able to take data actions like that at runtime when you enable data actions. So now we're going to come back to the builder and show you how to configure that. When I click over here on this list on the left-hand side of my screen, I have my tabs for my content style and actions. I'm going to click into the actions tab. You can see I've already configured some triggers and actions under the message actions tab, but there's also this data actions tab. I'm gonna go ahead and click on data actions. Here's where you enable or disable data actions. And when you enable or disable the data actions, um, then you'll either see this list of options or you won't. So now that data actions are enabled, I see the options to turn on or off specific actions. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off show on map and pan to and zoom to, because I have already created that interaction in these triggers and actions. When my user clicks on something from the list, I've already pre-configured the application to select and zoom to that feature in the map. So I don't need my users to be able to do that as well from that menu at runtime. But I do want them to be able to set filters, run statistics, and then this export data action. This is based on the settings on your item in your organization's ArcGIS Online account. So what that means is you can't turn on or off export from Experience Builder. If exporting is allowed on the original item, it will be allowed under the data actions menu. Let me go and take a look at that real quick with you. Over here is my wildfires copy item. This is a hosted feature layer and I'm this item has a settings tab over here on the far right. If I click into this settings tab and scroll down, to the bottom, there is this export data, allow others to export to different formats. I'm going to click on this and save. And once I've allowed others to export in different formats, they will now always have that option from their Experience Builder application if data actions are enabled. So I'm going to come back over here and I am going to save my settings and I'm going to preview the application. Sorry, it's taken a second. Now, when I click on this actions option, I see this export to different file types, and I now only see the set filter or run summary statistics. I no longer see pan to or zoom to because I disabled them from the builder menu. So that is the difference between data actions and message actions.